Hello, this is Reza from Radicad. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the mm, special use cases of uh, dynamic role level security inside Power BI or Microsoft Fabric. And when you apply that, it's a situation that you want everyone to see their own data, but the managers to see everyone's data. Uh, how can you implement that using a dynamic role level security? Let's go and uh, see a demo of how this works. Okay, so let's go and check out this demo, switching to full screen, here it is. Okay, uh, so I have a dynamic role level security situation here. And if you are not sure what that dynamic role level security is, it is I have a separate video about it. I encourage you to go and check it out. And usually it's a situation that you have a table that has the user information in it. This table uh, can have uh, information such as the user details, ID name, things like like that one of those is usually the email ID that would be the email that people log into the Power BI website or Microsoft Fabric website using that. Uh, now what we want to do is, uh, and, and this is the table that would filter the sales transaction table. So here I have list of all the sales transactions for everyone in the organization. But the idea here is that everyone to go and see their own uh, sales transaction. Uh, with only one exception compared to the video that I have done previously, which was dynamic role level security, everyone seeing their own transaction. In this case, we want that everyone see their own transaction only if that person is the manager, that person should see everything, right? Uh, so there are two ways to do that. One way is that you can go to your uh, modeling, manage roles in the role level security setup. You can create one role using um, the user login. And for that, we use the use principal name uh, function. And then add another role, which is for manager. And usually for the role for manager, let's call this one uh, manager. Usually for the role for the manager, um, you don't really need to put any filter. Basically, this means that this role has access to everything, but not putting everything, not putting anything here also makes it a little bit confusing. Like, does that mean uh, having access or not having access? So uh, a best practice in this situation is here to come and put a condition, but in the DAX expression, because this formula would be a conditional expression, you can put anything that would evaluate a true statement. One equal one, true, things like that. And then add another for, let's say, your user, which in this case would be, uh, would be creating one uh, and saying that their email is equal to uh, user principal name function, right? Now this, can work, uh, and then you can assign everyone in the organization to the user uh, role and manager to the manager. Uh, but we are, if we do this, we are stepping towards uh, static role level security because then every uh, control has to be done by different roles. What if later on you have like a management hierarchy? That is a different situation, right? Which I'll do a separate video about it. Uh, so we wouldn't do it with different roles. What we'll do, we'll keep everything in one role. So I'm going to just uh, close this. I'm not going to save this. And we are going to do this totally differently. So let's not save this. Uh, so the idea here is that I would use one role. Within that one role, I find out if the user is a manager or not. And if manager, then then we'll show everything. If not manager, we'll show that user details. Uh, so I'll create this um, measure just to show you how the process is, but then I will use that within that uh, within that context of role level security. So let's say this measure is basically the process in which I want to get the ID of the person logged in uh, or, or get the is manager of the person logged in. The person logged in is user principal name. Uh, user principal name function. And I've explained that in a separate video. So this means that who logged into the system and you see this is already providing me this information, which means uh, I'm logged into the system because I used my local login. This is my local login. When we publish this into the Power BI website, this would be the Power BI website login. Now I want to use that as a filter criteria and say, give me the ID or not the ID in this case, give me the is manager field of that user because we have a is manager that says 
0 or 1. Um, there are different ways that you can do something like this in DAX. Uh, one of those ways is using lookup value function. Lookup value function, you need to specify three parameters at least. The three parameters is that what, the, what is the result column, in this case is manager. What is the column we are searching, which would be email. What is the search value, would be that user principal name function. So uh, we are getting is manager. We are searching in the email field and user principal name is the field we are searching for. If you are coming from SQL background, reading this is like, for example, select is manager from sales rep table where email address is equal, where email column is equal to user principal name, right? It's not a complicated uh, thing to understand. Okay, so that is, uh, that is this measure. Let's just show that in a card visual here so that you get the feeling of how this works. So this is the measure. Uh, at the moment, this returns blank uh, because uh, I don't think I have a user in that in that table. Let's just go and check it out. Yeah, there is. Yeah, it it isn't. So I'll I'll refresh this because I have changed that Excel file just recently, so that this has that. Okay, now I have a record in that table. When we look at that. This record in that table, the is manager for that is zero. So this returns zero. Uh, and you see, I use my local user just for the purpose of testing. When we publish into the website, that should be the Power BI Office 365 user login. Uh, so that is part of the process. Now, once we know that, we need an if criteria, something like this, that says, if this is manager, do something, and if it does not, do something else, right? So I'll copy this, uh, this code, and then I'll go to manage roles because this is where I want to use it. That measure just was to show you the, uh, how we fetch that details. Here I would create one role, I would call it user role. And then uh, the criteria would be something like this. So in the sales rep table, which is the table that has the user IDs in it, I would say if, right, if this lookup value result. If this is equal to zero, this means that I'm not a manager, I'm a user, any employee. In this case, what we want is the normal process, which basically means that email should equal to user principal name. If, um, that, or, or else, else when th that is not the situation, then it is a manager, right? When it is not zero, it is manager. So as a manager, this should return everything and true is what I'm returning. Just before closing this, there is also one other thing that you have to always remember. In this situation, if this returns blank, meaning that it cannot find that user in that list, then it wouldn't be equal to zero. Blank is not equal to zero. Uh, as a result, it wouldn't go there. It would go to the else part. And then that person who is not in that list at all would get the access of the manager, which is not correct. So you can do, uh, you can fix it in different ways. One way is that you can use is blank uh, and check that with it, or we can change it the other way around. I can say when it is equal to one, then it is manager. So I'll bring this part up. Uh, if it is not, then that, right? Or you might still check with this blank, right? But this, but in this case, if that user is not there, the second part wouldn't return anything as well, right? Uh, so what we are saying that if this user is manager, full access, otherwise just that user's details. So let's save this and then go and check it and see how it works. Uh, so to check it, I'll go and see view as role and I would see this as that user, I'm not the manager. So instead of three transactions, it should show me only two transactions, which you see it shows me two transactions. And uh, now I can go and uh, set the is manager flag for myself to be true. Let's go and do that in the source file for this one. It's the source file is an Excel file. So I'm going and changing me as a is manager true and then refreshing this. Uh, so the next refresh would pick that up uh, in your Power BI scheduled refresh in this case. And, and this time it should realize that I am the manager. Uh, so this should return one. 
that measure is just to show me how this basically works though so, uh, yep as you see it is there but I have to also check how this would look like for that user so as a user if I go and check myself as a manager I see everything right previously you remember it didn't show me everything so we have one basically user uh, setup in the manage role which would cater for manager and the employee uh, this can of course go into much more um, advanced scenarios as well I'll create another video separately talking about how the hierarchy situation would work that everyone see their own uh, hierarchy underneath but not everything right so it goes like a hierarchy like that but this was just a simpler example first to show you how this process works if you want to learn more about dynamic role level security I recommend going and check out the other video I have done about that. I hope you like this video. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI and Microsoft Fabric. Until the next video, bye.